What are you doing? I'm giving the hackers the middle toe. The middle toe? Yeah. Why do you think mom stopped buying me flip flops? Can you answer 10 questions in 40 seconds? Let's go. What country would you like to visit? What does FYI stand for? What do you like the most about your city? When is your birthday? What's the last movie you've seen? Do you prefer paper books or ebooks? What language am I speaking right now? What are your plans for this weekend? What's your favorite social network? Are you subscribed to my Lingua Marina channel on YouTube? How was it? In this video, we're answering the question, how do we find the balance between discipline and enjoyment? And I think this question actually, it's, there's this false dichotomy between discipline on the one hand and enjoyment on the other. And my life philosophy has always been that really the true driver of productivity, if that's what you care about, is actually enjoying the stuff that we're doing and finding it meaningful. And so for me, like I need to use discipline to work out, but I also try and enjoy my workouts as much as possible. I do it by listening to an audiobook or by listening to music that I like, and I do it by tracking my numbers so it becomes more of a game. Equally, if I need discipline to study for my exam, I will try and enjoy the process as much as possible. And so really the key is you wanna try and find enjoyment within the things you also have to do. Five cool things that Google can do. Number one, if you don't carry cash, but you want to make a decision, then search flip a coin and Google will help you decide. Two, if you ever want to make sure anything is straight, Google has a bubble level. Three, if you're a fan of friends, then searching the names of the main characters will bring up an interactive widget that best summarizes them. Ross's is pretty hilarious. Paper! Number four, if you ever find yourself not sure how much to tip somebody, then Google's tip calculator can factor in what the total bill was, what percentage of that bill that you want to give, and how many people are with you to find out. And finally, if you ever fancied having a taste of tech from the past, then searching Google in 1998 will take you to a 23 year old version of the search engine. It is shocking how much we've improved since then. Follow for more tech nuggets like this.